In this video, I will demonstrate the Arduino example G-Ball. Below this video, you can find links to download and also links to more information. We are using a uh, MKR1000 and a accelerometer ADXL345 and also a battery. We tape them together to one package. We are using a 6 inch foam ball. We use a knife to cut a hole in the ball. Remove the lid. And then we take our package with the NKR1000 and battery and so on. Put it in the center of the ball. Replace the lid and tape it. The example is a part of the Asande library, so you need to have that installed. So you find it under examples, Asande, G Ball. I have opened it already. In the header, you can find a number of links to different. Uh, information like the specification for this project you can also find links to the all free libraries that are used besides asande the wi-fi 101 spark fun and the timer 5 you can also see the circuit connection here i will now start a sum the studio like that then i will turn on the socket server so now it's running and we can right click and see the properties of the server close and now i'm powering on my arduino And it will connect to the Wi-Fi and then to the server. So this is the main menu that will uh, appear. And we have four different menu options. The falling, the spherical, the setup, and the sleep mode. And the three green panels you see here is the x y and z values so if i turn my arduino around you see the values changing let's have a look at the spherical mode in this mode we transform the x y and z into a spherical coordinate system in the spherical coordinate system we have one value that is the acceleration called the radial acceleration and we will have a look at that in the short and we will now drop a ball into the floor in the short we can see that the acceleration is getting very close to zero during the fall. This is something that we will use in the next mode, the falling mode. We select the mode and in this mode we measure the time the ball is falling. 
and from that time we calculate the distance of the fall. So now we have put the distance into the chart and we'll do a number of drops. We will now go back to the spherical mode and do some other experiment. We will measure how hard or with which acceleration we are throwing the ball. So we take the radial acceleration and log it. And then we will throw the ball with different speeds or accelerations into the ball. In the sleep mode, the Arduino will turn off the Wi-Fi so we will lose the connection. So we click sleep mode. We will lose the connection within some seconds. And we can wake it up again by making a fall or just throw the ball up in the air and catch it. It wakes up, connects to the Wi-Fi and to Asunder Studio. Finally, I will show you how to do a cal calibration of the sensor. We go to the setup mode. And here we can see the draw sensor output. We open a chart just to have a look at the draw data. like that. Then we click start calibration. Then we turn the ball around making sure that all the axes are turned straight up and straight down. To make it easier finding the axes, we made some marking on the ball for each axis. When we are ready, we will click Calibration End. Then the calibration parameters will be calculated and you can see them in the panels. Thank you for watching the example.